Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I'm going to just start with an apology. I failed to do a work week top and bottom earlier this week. Um, totally just slipped my mind. I am so sorry. By the time I got home Monday night from my four day stretch, I was so fried. It's like, what color is the number four? You know, just brain, not functional. And Tuesday, I was so drained. So, you know, I just need a day. I'll do it this evening, and then didn't do it. So, again, I'm sorry. I apologize, but it's Thursday. I haven't done a Marseille special reading in a while with my classic Marseille deck. So, you know, um, yeah, I think we're going to run that today. And I have until, what, Monday? Monday's June 1st, right? So I'll have all weekend to get the Zodiac signs up. I guess I just needed a couple days to kind of reset my energy and reset my brain. So, yeah. All right. I'm not even going to do this one by the elements. I'm just going to go around the wheel. Gemini, it's your season, so we're going to start with you. These readings will be general. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. If they resonate with you, cool. If they don't, stick around for your um, moon, rising, and Venus sign readings. Or skip through. I'm sure someone will timestamp it for me. More than likely, the Audrey. Audrey, shout out to you. You're the best. Um, so, yeah. A little scattered right now, but we'll get to it. All right. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Just keep these things in mind. All right. A couple quick shuffles. Oh. And we're going to clarify with the tarot with a new vision today. Where's that box? Right here. It's a fun deck. Kind of backwards, but you get the point. All right. Around the Zodiac Wheel, Gemini to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just a quick energy check. I'm sorry. I suck. It was a rough weekend, guys. All right. All right, what the hell? We'll do the top and bottom of the deck. Gemini. Mm. Nine of Wands. Upright. Empress Upright. Ooh, perhaps one last push. Huh, okay. That's cool. Can you guys see that? Okay, you can see it now. Good. Okay. In the past, we have the King of Wands in reverse, Eight of Swords in the upright, something came to a dead stop perhaps, lost passion for something, somebody got up in their head about, maybe you did, and maybe there was some stuff going down, you just needed to collect your thoughts. Ace of Wands in the upright, Chariot in the reverse. Okay, so perhaps there was a little disconnect in the past, a little bit later on down the line. Got your fire back, decided you wanted to close the gap with this, maybe decrease the emotional or physical distance, make a comeback around perhaps. Okay. Page of Wands and the Ten of Coins, I gotta say, it's reversed. Hmm. 
Gemini, I see you moving forward. I don't see, I don't see it being fruitful. Let's get a clarifier. Can I get clarity on the cards and the table for Gemini, please? I shouldn't say that I don't see it being fruitful. I don't see necessarily be, see it being fruitful right away. I see you pushing forward and I see growth in the future. I see potential, but this may just be a hiccup. Can I get a clarifier on this 10 of coins in the reverse, please? Is this a hiccup? What's this? Is this a hiccup? reversed. Well, that's bloody unfortunate. Why is the page of wands here? Feel like talking. Confusion, seven of cups reversed. You could perhaps not be sure which path to take, which choice to make. There's confusion. Confusion moving forward. Gemini, what you got going on? Somebody could be giving you mixed signals and mixed messages here. lost passion for something it consumed you you got your mojo back you decided to close the gap because you saw potential and growth one last push not happening this is just going to cause confusion all right let's get some advice for gemini upright or reverse it's even hard for me to tell i reversed three of swords reversed Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. You need to come out of this state of heartbreak. Before you can regain control of this. I don't like that Three of Swords reversed. We have three of wands in the upright and two of cups reversed. Yeah. Two reverse threes, guys. The three of wands is in the upright. What the hell am I thinking? Coming out of the heartbreak. You know. Okay. Why on earth would this be advice? You possibly may need to wait for them to sort out their stuff. This is third party. Somebody needs to get a handle on their stuff or this 
before this can reconnect. Because you know you're not in control of other people's choices and decisions, right? You, you, you only have a limited amount of control over your un own life, in case you didn't know that. Temperance reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Pentacles, Devil reversed. Yep. They got to disconnect. Somebody in this scenario needs to disconnect before this is going to sprout back up again. Is there potential? Absolutely. Can you push through it? Absolutely. But you can only push so hard because the other person's involved too. And they have some things they need to sort out. So you need to hold out, be patient, and try to maintain your own balance and not worry about theirs. Fair enough? Okay. All right, hope you took something out of that, Gemini. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cancer. What do we got going on for cancer? Okay. What we got going on for cancer this week? in the reverse and seven of swords in the upright some shady going on possibility of a return but there's something shady about this In the past, five of wands, nine of wands, there was argument, there was confrontation, walls went up, emperor and the empress, well, Closing the gap. The Emperor found their Empress. That's amazing. It means I'm going to have to clarify some stuff. Because apparently something dramatic happened. But I'm okay with that. Oh, and that's what the shady part comes in the world and temperance reversed. Oh boy, okay. Can I get some clarity on the Nine of Wands, please? I love it when cards have multiple meetings. I love that. Nine of Wands, please. Thank you. Queen of Cups reversed. Walls went up. Someone became very emotionally withdrawn. Okay. Why the Emperor and Empress? Thank you. Knight of Wands.
So we get a matched pair. Couldn't be more perfect for each other, but somebody doesn't want to commit. Okay. Maybe that's where the uh, Seven of Swords comes in. One more on that, please. One more. Three of Wands reversed, and someone is not waiting around for the other person to decide what they want. Okay. The Emperor and the Empress are two very strong-willed people. Could not be more perfect for each other. Or could they? Mm. Sometimes when people are too much alike and too well-matched, it doesn't work out either. King of Swords reversed. Perhaps someone has a pretty crappy attitude about the whole thing. Possibly a harsh exchange of words because someone doesn't want to commit. Somebody's not waiting around. Somebody's not being completely honest. So that's where the shady shit comes in. Okay. Why the world? Thank you. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Grinding to a halt. Someone perhaps not being apologetic about the situation. Offers being revoked. Chapters coming to a close. Things coming to an end. Nine of Cups reversed. Someone's... Someone's cup isn't being filled, or it's not being filled with the right things, or they're not filling their own cups with the right thing, or they're pushing negative energy onto someone else, perhaps. Okay. Why temperance reversed is the outcome. Negative energy flow. Why temperance reversed. of cups reversed. Oh, we have another match set. Well, gee. Negative energy flow, complete emotional separation. That's sad. Well, well, you gave it your best shot. You tried to close the gap. Sometimes things come back together for closure. It's happened to me more than once. I have to look at my chart again. Do I have cancer in my chart anywhere? I don't think I do. Weird. Okay. Let's get some advice for you guys. Judgment reversed. King of Wands reversed. I just heard don't throw in the towel yet. Don't throw in the towel yet. It may not be over. Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. This is a powerful connection. Potentially toxic. Give it a second. Head. Boom, 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 boom. Give it a second. You're still bound. And that's why it's saying don't throw the towel in yet. Because this is a very powerful connection. But you need to figure out how to do it on your own. And be independent before this has a snowball's chance in hell of ever coming back together. 
So you may have just closed out a chapter and your story might not be over. And there's a lot of negative energy flow going on, a lot of toxic shit that just needs to kind of settle down. I mean, there's shady crap going on. Somebody is not being 100% up front. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the upright. Don't... Don't feed this connection. You need to do things that make you happy and fulfill you emotionally. Don't feed this right now. You need to work on you and your own happiness. And your own fairy tale happy ending. The devil and the queen of pentacles just popped out again. Holy shit. <laughs> Guys, you watched me shuffle. You watched me. Cancer, this is a powerful message for you right now. You're bound. But you gotta figure it out on your own right now. So you need to let that happen before this is gonna happen. Okay. Well, Cancer, that was amazing. That doesn't happen to me very often. That was a holy shit moment. I don't think you guys have ever had a holy shit moment out of me. Okay, where are we at? Uh, Leo. Leo, what's going on? You ever just realize that you can't find your phone? Ah, if it rings, it rings. Oh well. All right, Leo. It was right here. I don't know where the hell it went. All right, messages for Leo this week. Two of coins popped out in the shuffle. I wonder if it means anything. We'll see if it comes back out. Perhaps a little finding your balance, maybe some juggling. The tower and the star, the star is in the reverse. Oh boy. My Leo friends, my fire sign brothers and sisters, what the hell is that? I have a funny feeling you saw the storm coming. You felt the earth shaking, didn't you?
in the past we have an eight of cups reversed and a six of pentacles reversed. So there was a return, but things were still unequal. Okay. Four of swords in the upright, five of pentacles in the upright. Laying something to rest, someone being put out in the cold. Nine of Cups in the Page of Coins. Emotional fulfillment. Something new coming in. Something slow, strong, stable. The tower is falling. There's a negative energy flow. So, if I'm getting this right, you walked back into a situation that was the same old shit, different day? Why would you walk back into something if it didn't change? Come on. I'm, I'm just reading cards. I'm not being I'm not being judgmental. I'm just reading cards. Can I get some clarity for Leo, please? I'm just gonna throw a card on each one of these, because I'll hand it to Leo. You guys are loyal to a fault. And sometimes you are so full of love for the wrong fucking people. Nine of Pentacles popped out. Without any kind, any kind of indication. So I'm going to leave this here. I didn't ask for it. It popped out on its own. It may be time to try to be independent. It may be time to find yourself worth. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Hanged man. Emotionally stuck, emotionally hung up, perhaps. Okay. I dropped them. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Seven of Cups. Except to the fate of the situation, emotionally stuck. Oh, wow. So, perhaps somebody went back to a situation thinking it was going to be even... Somebody got snowballed. Somebody got severely snowballed here, Leo. Why is the Four of Swords here?
King of Pentacles. Just trying to keep things stable. Just trying to keep things stable. Why is the Five of Coins here? Seven of Wands reversed. Somebody had to relinquish control to keep the boat floating. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here? Leo, what the hell is going on at my table right now? Knight of Cups reversed. That tenth cup just won't stay standing, will it? You don't necessarily need the tenth cup. The tenth cup is completion. I'm going to throw one more on that. So you're happy. Death could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Could be a Scorpio involved somehow. Or a requirement of change. If you want that 10th cup, something has to change. And that change is going to involve falling off a tower. I don't think the tower is too steady. Or perhaps your ship's in some choppy waters right now. I think someone's just trying to save face to keep from being put out in the cold. keep things stable. Why is the page of coins here? Why is the page of coins here for an outcome? Knave of Swords reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Someone's apologizing and not meaning it. Saving face. Someone's saving face. Someone's going to continue to save face. Try to stop this tower from falling, but there's so much negative energy in here right now. Leo, you may need to separate yourself from whatever this is. And try to find your self-worth and emotional independence again. the Knight of Coins in the reverse and the Ace of Coins in the upright. Wow.
I'm hearing there's something new and better for you. And this just needs to grind to a halt. Because there's something else out there. There's something more stable out there. And it's not this. Nine of coins, page of wands reversed. Nine of coins. You need to stop putting effort into this, stop moving forward with it and work on you and separating yourself from this and your own emotional independence. The moon and the five of pentacles. Speaks of secrets being eliminated. Draw the two. Helps those two make sense. Wow, that's enlightenment. Don't ignore what the universe is trying to hand you and turn your back on it. Because they're trying to hand you something. Don't ignore it because you're trying to avoid a heartbreak. Things are about to be illuminated. And there is a way in out of the cold. Secrets are about to be revealed. Something's coming out of the water. I'm hearing water. Something's coming out of the water. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Okay, Leo, so don't stay because you feel like you have to if it's sucking you dry. There's a very strong message of the obligations you have to yourself. That doesn't mean be selfish. That means love yourself. You can't love the people around you if you don't love yourself. And you can't expect to be loved by the people around you if you don't love yourself. You have to love yourself enough to say enough's enough. Virgo, what do we got going on for Virgo this week? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like a two hour reading. Ace of Pentacles came out again. We'll see if it comes back out. Two of Wands in the upright, the devil reversed. Ah. Could be disconnecting from a Capricorn. But you are at the crossroads deciding if it's time to move forward or hang back. Interesting crossroads. Okay.
Death reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. Something didn't evolve, something didn't change, someone, a situation, a person was cut off in communication. Nine of Swords in the upright, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Codependency to the extreme. Could have been you, could have been them. High Priestess in the reverse, the Magician in the reverse. Oh, wow. Disconnecting from something powerful or trying to. In process. I think that this is the person you're dealing with and it's driving you batshit crazy. Somebody's very clingy, someone's very needy, somebody could possibly be extremely manipulative and try to pull strings. Probably shuffle that. Some string pulling going on. Bat crap bonkers. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess reversed here? Ace of Swords reversed. No communication, cut off in communication. Why is the magician reversed here? Yup, tower reversed. They're trying to pull strings. They're going to try to pull strings. Whatever you're trying to disconnect from, that thing that's never going to change and that you cut off communication with, they've gone bonkers. Very clingy, needy. Wow. They're going to try to pull strings to try to rebuild this tower that has fallen. They're trying to save it. I don't see you going for it, though. I see you continuing with the cutoff in communication. All right, let's get some advice. The moon reversed and the nine of pentacles reversed. Read these together. Four of wands, hanged man.
the fog is lifting. Things becoming clearer now. You do not need this codependent crap anymore. Allow things to be illuminated. Allow things to clear up. Don't deal with this codependent energy. Accept it for what it was. There's more stable things coming for you. Doors are opening for you. But you need to finish disconnecting from this. King of Wands in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You need to let that go. You need to just stop the truck, throw the brakes on the train, let that go. Do not move forward with that. There's other better things coming for you. You need to let that go, and you need to let go of all the negative energy that goes along with it. Yes, Ten of Swords in the reverse, the world in the upright. You need to close this painful cycle out and let the sun shine again in your life. You need to close this chapter, and the only one in control of that is you. Oh, yeah. The only one in control of that is you, Virgo. You have to end your own pain. So, keep doing what you're doing. Don't let them backslide. Move forward. Okay. Wow. Wow. Libra. Okay. Libra. Four of Pentacles in the upright, Ten of Swords in the reverse. You're holding on to something and it is impeding your own progress. You are holding on to something and preventing the sun from shining in your life. Why? Let's find out. Justice and the Emperor in the past could have been a legal matter. Five of Cups reverse, Three of Swords. Five of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords. Okay. Could have been a Libra you were dealing with. Could have been an Aries. Okay, I think I got this. I'm going to throw a clarifier on, though. I'm clarifying before I speak on this one, Libra. Yeah, 
know I have a tendency to go a little sideways when I read your energy. Why is justice here? Ace of Swords. New Communications. Balance. Something new. One more. Queen of Swords. Honest Communication. Possibly a little cold. Justice. This screams legal matter. Why is the emperor here? Page of Wands and the Fool. Page of Wands is reversed. In control, large and in charge. Something came to a dead stop here. I think you or the person you're dealing with put something to a dead stop, said, nope, it's my way or the highway, uh, and the other person chose the highway and decided to go off and do something new. Okay, a little later on down the line, tower reversed. Someone's trying to rebuild a tower. Why is the five of cups reversed here? Coming out of that state of sadness, recognizing the blessings, not concentrating so much on the past anymore, Nine of Pentacles, grabbing your emotional independence, becoming a more independent person, Knight of Cups, in walks a cup, the cup of non-commitment, why is the Three of Swords here? So just when you started coming out of it, in walked the cup again. And then we were at the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Six of Wands, there's victory in that heartbreak. Eight of Cups. All right, you know what? You broke my heart again. I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm declaring victory, and I'm not not returning. This week, why is the Five of Swords reversed here? Temperance, positive energy flow. 
deciding to not pick the pieces up. Knave of Swords. Possibly receive some information to help you with this decision. It's messages, it's conversations, it's truths. More. Come on. Seven of Wands, you're taking control back. That's awesome. I like it. Why is the Queen of Swords here for the outcome? Or Libra. Five of Cups reversed. Truths being spoken. Cold decision making. Cold communication. But you're coming out of a state of sadness. You're like, you know what? I'm cutting you out of my life. I'm done. I'm letting you go. Because I want the sun to shine in my life again. Someone may be coming back to try to rebuild a tower with you. And you're just like, no. No. I don't want to. I think you're you're flipping this stuff over, Libra. I think you are. I see you finally coming out of that state of sadness and cutting this person out of your life. One more. Page of Cups. That is the, I love you, but I need to be done. I will always love you. You will always hold a place in my heart. I will always have a cup for you, but I need to be done. Okay. Let's get your advice, Libra. Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands reversed. Don't move forward. Don't communicate. Stop the presses. Oh, three came out. We'll take them. Make a judgment call. Move forward with it. Stick with it. We have um, judgment, the ace of wands, and the hangman reversed. Do not let this hang you up emotionally. You need to move forward. You need to. Make a judgment call before the universe does. The Emperor reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. The Empress reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. Acceptance. Don't try to reconcile this. Don't try to control it. And no matter how many times you go over the what ifs, it's not going to turn out. It's not going to turn out well. There's no hope for growth. Just come out of that state of insanity. Don't overthink it. Don't think through it a thousand times. You guys are pretty good at that, Libra. I mean, it, I'm saying. My mother was a Libra. I love Libras. But you overthink things at times. Don't overthink it. It is what it is. You can't change it. It doesn't matter how many times you try to rebuild the tower. It's going to fall down the same way. Okay. Scorpio! Oh, wow, yeah. This is going to be like two hours. I'm just warning you now. This is my Marseille Thursday. It's almost noon here in northern Michigan. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <sighs> Tired. 
Not as drained as I was the other day, though. All right, Scorpio. What do we got? Come on. That was a shitty shuffle. Page of Swords and the Three of Swords in the upright. Mm. Tough break. That's rough news. Oh, that's rough. That's a Dear John letter. Y'all know what that is? That's when they don't have the gonads to break up with you in person. That's what that is. Past, we have a Five of Cups reversed and a Two of Swords in the upright. Band-Aids! Just coming out of a state of sadness. We're going to throw a clarifier on that. That's screaming band-aid. Did you throw a band-aid on a bullet wound? And now you have another bullet wound? Or were you somebody else's band-aid and now you have to give them a bullet wound? Take it however resonates. Shots fired. Queen of Fortune, uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Devil. That took a downward turn. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Could also be, let's see the fixed signs Taurus, Leo, another Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Wow. Powerful connection, potentially toxic. Three of Cups reversed. Disconnect. Secrets being revealed. Yep. Okay. Why is it too... Let's shuffle before I start asking questions. Judgment reverse popped out. We'll see if it comes out again. Two of Cups reverse, two of Swords reverse. Okay. That card really wants to talk. I won't be surprised if it comes flying out. Why is two of swords reversed here? Upright or reversed? Why is two of swords in the upright here? It's hard to tell with these Marseille cards. That's why I gotta use the cheaters and look at the back of the card. Seven of wands. 
Okay. Band-aid. Coming out of a state of sadness, making a blind decision to maintain, regain control of your life and your emotions while still trying to battle your inner demons. One more on that. And first reversed. Okay. Could have been a child involved. Or someone you want to have children with. Perhaps someone you have children with. I don't know. King of Pentacles decided to fly out. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Okay, stop flying out. I'll take a look at it. The full reversed came out. I should have laid it on the table. That tells me that you don't trust the situation or the person that you're dealing with. We'll see if it comes back out. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Six of Cups reversed comes out. Oh no, really? A rerun? Are we doing the rerun? Strength reversed. You're drained from this. This is somebody from your past that left a very salty taste in your mouth. This is a return. Why is the devil here? It's a card of Capricorn, by the way. You could well be dealing with a Capricorn. I also have Leo. I have Taurus, Gemini, Pisces. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Could be anybody. Take it however it resonates. If it's setting off an alarm in your brain, it probably means something. Nine of Cups reverse. This is somebody. Possibly as an addiction issue. Possibly. They do not fill their cups with the appropriate things. This is toxic. One more. And it's leaving you emotionally unfilled in the process. Probably why you may be leaving a Dear John letter. If you're the one leaving the letter. Knight of Wands, they weren't committed. Sex is kind of like a drug. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Wow. Alright, why is the Three of Cups reverse here? Yeah, the alarm just went off in my head. You saw that. Just went off in my head. Oh gosh. Somebody wasn't committed. So this week, why is the Three of Cups reversed here? King of Wands reversed, throwing in the towel, saying enough's enough, throwing the truck and park on the freeway, walking away from the potential third party situation. I do have two threes, so. Thanks. Two of Pentacles. Somebody dropped the balls. A 
Eight of Cups reversed came out. They may try to fight you. Or if this is someone that you've already disconnected from because of their bullshit, they're going to try to come back to you. I don't see you going for it, though. Sun reversed. Not acknowledging a connection. You're connected. You're probably soulmate. See, I got soulmate cards all over the fucking place. But that doesn't mean you got to put up with their shit. Just because you're soulmates doesn't mean you're meant to be together forever. It's not how that works. You're walking away from the third party shit. They're going to try to pull you back, but you're walking away. Why is the moon reversed here? Two of cups reversed. You're seeing the light. The sun is coming out. It is dawn. It is a new day. The moon is setting. The sun is rising. You are disconnecting from this. You're done. Scorpio, I'm proud of you. I think this has been a merry-go-round of events. I think this has happened more than once. And I think you're finally done. Knight of Cups. Yep. Just like Libra, I will always have a cup for you. You will always hold a special place in my heart. But I am done with your shit. I can't do this anymore. I want off the damn merry-go-round. That, that's pretty much where you're at right now. Let's get your advice. Seven of Swords in the upright, Knight of Coins in the reverse. Empty apologies. Until they can come at you with truth, and there's no more shady shit, don't. Don't take the coin. Don't take the coin. There's no truth in that coin. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the upright. There is nothing abundant in this seed. I I don't I don't know if cards would ever tell you to hold on to negative emotions, so I'm just gonna say, don't forget how this made you feel. And don't go anywhere with it. The seed's not going to grow. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with everybody else. Communicate honestly, coldly if you have to, but maintain face in a positive attitude. Don't. You can be cold without being a complete bitch. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. High Priestess reversed. Oh, wow. Knight of Pentacles popped out. Wow, Scorpio. Okay. Give me a second. High Priestess reversed is an unacknowledged connection.
I'm hearing until they want to come back and play right. Keep your back turned. Don't feed it. Don't acknowledge it. So until you get that apology and it actually means something. Oh, there was the Knight of Coins. It was reversed up here. Yeah. Don't. Don't. So they come back honest and true and they want to play the game right. Don't. Don't. That's sound advice. Don't. Don't rely on other people for your happiness, Scorpio. And don't kill yourself trying to make somebody else happy either. Energy flow needs to be balanced. It needs to be equal. Sagittarius, my friends. My brother and my soul family. What? I'm a Sagittarius. So leave it alone. Okay. They don't call me Big Mama Sag for nothing. What's going on with Sagittarius this week? Halfway there. Probably about two and a half hours. I gotta start speeding this crap up. Props to anybody who sits through this, by the way. Watches the whole thing. Six of Pentacles, upright, star card reversed. Things are not as equal as they appear, are they? I think they are. Oh, God. Another return? Okay. Things were not as equal as they appeared. Could be Aquarius you're dealing with. I also have Scorpio. A lot of swords. Possible air sign. Air sign, earth sign. Don't let... Don't let the light coming through the window fool you. It's been raining on and off all day. It's been raining on and off all day for the last couple of days. <sighs> Alright, so the tower fell. Communication was cut off. Four of swords in the upright. Something was laid to rest. Six of swords in the reverse. Somebody came back. This week coming up, Judgment Reversed and the Two of Pentacles. Balance being restored. Reversal of Judgment. Do I dare ask for clarity? The shit went down. Okay, I'm only clarifying two of these cards. Why is Judgment Reversed here for Sagittarius? I should probably shuffle. I'm getting ahead of myself. Because I'm trying not to put people to sleep. Knave of Swords reversed. Reversal of judgment. Cut off in communication. Ace of Pentacles reversed. House plants going back on the back porch. Hmm. Is this another one of those merry-go-round things? Sagittarius, really? Oh, have we thrown ourselves in the merry-go-round? No, 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 no,
All right. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? I don't need 20 cards. Thanks. The Ace of Pentacles was on the bottom. We'll see if it comes back out. Sorry, the Knave of Pentacles. So the page. Ace of Swords reversed. <sighs> Regaining balance, not striking the match. Balance. Ace of Swords reversed. Wow, you're not striking the match. You're not even talking. You're beginning your balance this week, Sagittarius. Something threw you off. The merry-go-round done threw you off. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, you stop talking to him once. I think you can survive doing it again. Apparently, you need to heal from something and regain your balance. Knave of Cups reversed. There's nothing for you in this cup. Someone's thrown the gauntlet down. Okay. That's interesting. We're just going to go into your advice. Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Probably soulmates. Okay. There's a powerful connection here. And until you reopen the lines of communication, and it is honest communication, and it is clear communication, there's no hope of saving this. The Five of Cups reversed and the Nine of Swords in the upright. Don't overthink this. Don't let yourself go back crap bonkers. You need to concentrate on your blessings and not dwell on the past. It's the only way to move forward. I think there's something new coming for you, though, possibly with an air sign. Ten of Cups upright, Seven of Wands reversed. Emotional fulfillment comes when the confrontation ends with both your inner demons and the people you're fighting with. Lay your weapons down. There's nothing to fight about. Is it, was it really worth fighting about? The lovers and the four of cups. Wow, the lovers came out twice. I think, Sagittarius, I think the universe is definitely trying to hand you something. 
And I'm not sure if it's this or not. I don't think it's this. But you probably shouldn't ignore it. You need to look up at the cup. Stop looking down at everything that's been spilled. And look up at the damn cup. Don't dwell on your past. Move forward to the future. The tower has fallen. The tower has fallen repeatedly. You need to allow yourself to heal and to process and move forward. Don't slide back to this. Trust your judgment, Sagittarius. All right. That was fun. Move on to Capricorn. Capricorn. World reversed in the Knight of Cups. Oh boy. No commitment Joe's coming back for another round. Hmm. Non-committal Joe. Or Jane, you know. Whatever. Sex of the card doesn't matter. Can this not be over? Here's my cup. Something had you drained in the past. Strength reversed. Ten of wands in the upright. You, you finally just released the burden. You needed to be done. I'm over it. I'm done with it. I'm, I'm ending this. This needs to end. It's too much. The Hierophant, the Two of Cups reversed. The Pope. You know, same thing. Possibly a Taurus you're dealing with? Could be. Leo, Taurus, a little bit of fire, a whole lot of water. Could well be a water sign you're dealing with, Capricorn. Why is the Pope here? Throw a clarifier on that. Not only does he marry people, he teaches people life lessons. And he's a student himself. Why is the Pope here? King of Pentacles reversed. Life lesson. One more.
Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords reversed. You were drained, you laid a burden down. Wow, how far did we back up? How far did we rewind and then fast forward? Something was too much. You laid down a burden. Oh. Okay. There was a divorce. There's a disconnect in a blessed union. Or a separation of some kind. Someone may be in process of a divorce. Still married but separated. Why is the two of cups reversed here? Not talking anyway. Somebody wanted to be independent. Two of cups reversed, nine of pentacles upright. Something became too much. Some, someone got something off their chest. They were drained. Knave of Cups reversed. There's nothing in the cup. Three of Cups. Oh, that's something heavy to get off your chest. I don't have two threes on the board yet, though. Oh, wow. Okay. So coming up this week, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. Page of Cups upright, Nine of Cups reversed. Why is the Page of Cups here? Capricorn, somebody wants a do-over. What is it with everybody this week? The world. Mm. You just want to end the game. It could be you, it could be them. This is all vice versa. Could be vice versa. Somebody's coming back with the cup cute little love letters, the roses, the candy. Somebody wants to end it. Six of Cups just came flying out, but there's happy memories. Somebody is saying, remember the happy times. Lovers reversed. Somebody's not acknowledging the connection. Why is the Nine of Cups upright or er, reversed here? Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Seven of Pentacles reversed. The cups have been done, kicked over. It's not fruiting. Judgment reversed. Full reversed. You're not happy. You have no patience for it. You're done. You don't trust it. One more. One more and then we'll move on to Aquarius. Not putting the work into it. Well, somebody's going to try and the other, other person's going to be like, no. Mm. Capricorn, let's get your advice because I think you're the one who's like, uh, no. Mm. Six of 
seven of cups, upright, five of swords reversed. Keep your options open. Even if one of those options is not picking up the pieces with this one. Eight of Swords, Page of Swords reversed. Don't get all wrapped up in it. Don't wrap yourself in a cage of your own thoughts. Cut off in communication. Until you hear it from the horse's mouth, you didn't hear nothing. That just popped into my head. Filtered information. Don't obsess over filtered information. Five of cups upright, justice reversed. Don't concentrate so much on the past and what's been tipped over. You need to concentrate on regaining your balance and counting your blessings. Six of Pentacles reversed, Page of Wands. Forward movement. Regaining your balance. Balance comes with time. In time, don't stay stuck, Capricorn. You can't stay stuck. Okay. Aquarius. Alright, Aquarius. Four left. Six cups reversed. Not so obvious because it's a Marseille deck. Six of wands reversed. Salty memories and nuts of victorious moments. What's up with that? Hey now, you and you.
lovers reverse to a swords reversed. There was a disconnect. Unacknowledged connection. Someone had to make a painful decision, an impossible decision. Eight of Pentacles. The Pope, both in the reverse. No longer putting work into it. Unacknowledged connection. Five of Cups in the Moon. Left sad and not knowing. Salty memories and not so victorious moments. Can I get a clarifier? One card in the lover's reversed. It was draining. Someone may have been holding the other person back. That's why it had to happen was to a sword hit reversed here. Five pentacles reversed, so I just wanted to stay out of the cold. Or someone had to make a painful decision to bring somebody in from the cold. Oh, Aquarius, what's going on? Unintention. Nine of Swords reversed. Not giving it a second thought. Well, that's good. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Six of Wands popped out in the upright. So you were like, you know what? I'm not throwing work into this anymore. I'm not going to work on this. I'm going to work on me. I think you declared victory in that. Why is the Pope reversed here? Eight of Wands reversed, cut off in communication, no forward movement. This possibly could have been a divorce. Why is the Five of Cups here? I have the chills, and I'm not sure why. It still makes you sad, but you're not as heartbroken as you used to be. You might be able to see the blessings. But they still kicked your cups over. You still kicked their cups over. Cut, 
cup still hit the ground. Either way. But you're not as sad about it as you used to be. You're coming out of that state of heartbreak. But it still makes you sad to think about it. Why's the moon here? That nine of swords reversed really and not giving it a second thought? King of Wands. The Moon, King of Wands. One more. This is forward movement and never knowing the truth, allowing the sun to come up again and just ending the cycle. Not giving it a second thought, just accepting that it wasn't coming together. And that you're not supposed to know. Allowing it to never be illuminated, Aquarius. Allowing yourself to never know why. To not ask yourself why anymore. And just it is what it is. That's awesome. It's awesome. Let's get your advice. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Coins reversed. Yeah. You're going to miss the boat if you stay in a cage in your own thoughts. You're going to miss an awesome offer if you allow this to consume you. Don't allow this to consume you and miss the next boat that comes to port. You know what I'm saying? Five of Swords reversed injustice. Sometimes you just need to leave leave the pieces and walk away and allow balance to be restored. Just leave the pieces. Don't pick them up. Things will balance themselves back out. Knight of Pentacles reversed again and the Four of Pentacles. If you hold on to this, there's no room to hold on to anything else. You can't take the coin that's being offered if you got your arms full. Let go. There's doors at four, okay, four of wands, page, page of pentacles reversed. <sighs> doors are opening. Allow stability to be restored before you accept any offers. You got to straighten yourself back out. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I apologize to Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. I got to shut this down for a minute. Um, I have to go deal with something out there. So I will catch Pisces, Aries, and Taurus in the next video. Okay?